Mac Voices is supported by ExpressVPN. Secure your surfing at expressvpn.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, we wrapped up our CES coverage already, but as I told you in the wrap-up show, we had a few technical problems with a couple interviews, and I'm trying to get the folks back on the show because they were really good interviews, and I really wanted to have them, and it, it really bugged me. The problem we had was that the, 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 the video is gorgeous. But if after about two minutes, we lost the audio. So if everything works out, I'm going to cut some of the footage in here so you get to at least see some of what I saw at CES. But you're also going to hit, get to hear from Bryn Brooker, uh, the head of marketing for NextSpace, about their webcams. Bryn, welcome back to Mac Voices, even though you didn't make it the first time. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Uh, appreciate joining you. Well, I appreciate you uh, taking the taking the time to join us after we kind of blew the interview. It's it's just one of those things. <laughs> no, we, it's fine. We, you check the audio when you start. You think everything's going to be fine the whole way through, and then doesn't work out. No problem. Well, there's some good stuff to see, um, and I, I can surely I can fill in the gaps here now. Now, no problem at all. Well, great, great. So, I think we should first of all uh, make sure that folks understand you're in the UK. Yeah, um, we're over here just outside London. Um, okay. In the UK, uh, the dash cam business is booming, um, much the same for kind of Europe um, and uh, America, um, and that's where we started. And that's something that I want to stress, folks. I want to stress that you know we're, we covered a number of dash cams at CES. I've got some plans to cover more in the future. This is one of my little projects that I would like for you to you know buy a dash cam because I think it is such a good idea for so many reasons, not the least of which it really does protect you. I, I know the arguments against them. You know that well if I'm if I'm the one that's at fault, it's going to show that I'm at fault. Yeah, but if you're that worried about you being at fault, then you probably shouldn't be behind the wheel. So <laughs> that said, you know let's let's talk about next space and what you're offering. Bryn, in, from where I sat, you had some of the most innovative and unique approaches to the whole idea of dash cams that we saw at CES. Yeah, that's right. Um, we started doing dash cams in the UK about eight years ago now. Um, and so we've been thinking about dash cams for quite a while. Um, and we're launching a, a new range um, in April this year um, where we've decided to do things quite differently. So there's quite a few world firsts. Um, one of them um, is here, which is the mount. And most dash cams have the mount on top coming out here. Um, we've decided that doesn't really make sense. Um, it's a lot better to have the mount on the front, and that means this mount here can go in the window. There's a magnet on the back of it here, and then the dash cam itself can simply click on with that magnet and another magnet in the product itself. One of the great reasons, other than it's nice and easy, um, about doing that is that when you look at the product from the driver's side, you don't see the mount. The mount's hidden away. It's stuck to the windscreen, um, and it also gives you a better field of view. When your uh, lens of the dash cam itself is looking through the window, it's physically closer to the window, and there's less glare and reflection coming up off of your windscreen. It seems like such a small thing, but it's, it's, those little design tweaks are so important. And, and I know some of my favorite um, iPhone mounts for my my car are magnetic because yeah. like you say you just you take it up you you drop it in it locks in and you're done and with this this makes the dash cam e a lot easier to take in and out of the car if you're worried about security. Yeah, that's right. And many of our users um, have said to us, "Yeah, they're great dash cams, but what if we did this? What if it was easier?" Uh, and just listening to that feedback enabled us to develop this new range um, and. and bring out this product uh, that we're going to be launching in April. That's great. So, so design, the design of, well, that's one of the aspects of design that caught my eye, but there are a couple others, uh, the way that you've, you've designed your camera. So I'm just going to let you roll with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so uh, because we've been doing dash cams for quite a while, um, we've been thinking about how can we make the product better? How can we make it easier and better for our customers? Um, one of the biggest changes we've made is taking the a second lens or a second camera 
away from the product. So there are many products in the market where you have one lens at the front and one lens of here physically attached to the product. That's great. I mean, we, we do one ourselves, but it always meant that the product, when you buy it, it costs $200 because you have to buy two cameras at once. You're also stuck with the cameras that you buy. You can't change any of these lenses at all. Um, so we thought, let's do more of a kind of pick and mix kind of style. Um, so we developed this little module, is what we call it. Um, there are uh, three versions of module. Two of them look like this. Uh, essentially, they simply plug in to the side of your dash cam. So you would buy one dash cam like this. Um, this would be $150, let's say. This is the very top of the range camera. Um, they start down at just $69. Um, and then a little module would be about $60. This can either look into your car, so you can see who's in the car. So for Uber drivers um, and people like that, they can protect themselves in the vehicle. They can also see out kind of the side windows, people either side of them. Um, or you can buy a different module. You can have one that looks through the back of your car. Um, so it looks out the rear window and is looking at the driver behind you. So if the driver hits the back of your vehicle and then drives away, you'll have that footage captured. Um, we also do what we call a rear window module. So this, I love this little one. It's a lovely kind of golf ball sized, or just a little bit smaller than a golf ball, um, little camera. This is designed to go physically in your rear window. Um, and again, with magnets, you stick this in your window, uh, and then you can point it wherever you like. Um, I love this. Uh, again, this will probably be about $60, and it will connect into that same socket um, on the side of the dash cam here uh, to enable you to um, link the two cameras together. Um, it just gives the customer the option. Well, and, and that's that's the thing that really impressed me with everything you were offering is you've, you're building an expandability into a device that typically doesn't see any expandability. As you said, you buy it and it is what it is. And if you want to upgrade or change, then you have to buy something completely new and either try to sell the one you have or hand it down to someone or just you know, put it in the basement, yeah. um, which is unfortunately where too many, too much electronics uh, ends up. Um, I, I want to make sure though that we touch on the uh, the rear view camera. Um, yeah. So the, the the small golf ball size one that yeah. is a wi that is a wired thing. So you have to run the wire somewhere, probably through the headliner, back up to uh, yeah um, to the camera. We we did look at um, the possibility of a wireless connection. Um, but actually, in all of our testing, having a, a Wi-Fi connection, for example, in a vehicle, 100% of the time, just was ne it wasn't possible. Uh, it was kind of 98% of the time. And we thought, uh, from our perspective, if it can only be 98% reliable, that's not good enough. Um, uh, yes, it's a physical cable, um, but the installation along the headlining very, very simple. It takes probably two minutes just to tuck it away. Um, and then it means you, we know the product will work. So we'd rather deliver a product to a customer that definitely will work rather than one that 90% uh, of the time, 98% of the time might work. Uh, and that's the reason we, we went that way. Okay. So, and the other, the module that you were talking about, you were saying that it can either record basically the cockpit of the car or out the back. Are those two different lenses or is it a matter yeah. of just how you position it? Uh, it's two different lenses. So the, uh, we have two different modules. So they, the plastics on the outside, they physically look the same. Um, but the lens right here is different. So this one is the cabin view module. Um, the, Rear view module, the one that looks out the back, just has a, kind of a, a more narrow view, um, but zoomed in. It's got about kind of a, what we call a 50 meter zoom, so it zooms in to the vehicle 50 meters behind yours and captures that area. 
So you get a very similar to view uh, view to that in your rear view mirror. Um, you can see the car behind you. Um, you can see kind of maybe the area around headrests in the corners, um, but you're concentrating on that car in the back. Got it. Got it. Um, for all this expandability, this is striking me as, as pretty affordable. Now, there's some very inexpensive dash cams out there, and, and they're good starter dash cams, but if you're looking for some of the advanced features you're talking about here, this, 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 is, this is kind of where you want to go. Yeah, I and mean, for us, having a, a range of products that, as you went up the range, it was easy to understand the differences, and also having a core... Um, set of features that were across the whole range is quite important. So um, the, what we call the click-and-go mount, um, where the mount connects to the dash cam like that. Uh, that's from our entry level. This is actually the entry level one here, uh, the 122. Um, that's, like I say, is at $60, $69 is the retail price to that up to uh, the top of the range product, um, which will have Alexa emergency SOS system. So a lot more connected car features um, in the higher range models um, up at the uh, $199. Now that's something we haven't talked about yet because some, as you said, some of the higher, uh, higher dollar uh, price point models have a lot more connected car features. And again, this was something that I was really intrigued by because I don't see this in that many dash cams. And you, you, the more you talk, the more it seems like you really have thought this through and are looking to really add a lot of value to something that is, you know, could be fairly simple. Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, it is the first dash cam um, that's been brought to market with um, Alexa's AMA system, um, so that's kind of Alexa Automotive. Um, and having Alexa in the car really opens up um, kind of a world of opportunity. Um, we've been working with the Alexa team for uh, kind of a, a good year now, um, and they've been really good um, and a great partnership that's enabled this to happen. Um, to do that, we've had to put Bluetooth in the product. So again, this is the first time that we've got a dash cam with Bluetooth, and that's Bluetooth 4.2. Um, and by having a, a properly connected product in the car, it, allow, it kind of just opens up so many possibilities. We're able to um, connect to the internet uh, when we need to. We're able to turn things on and off automatically when we need to. So for example, with Alexa, you can be driving along, you can play your music, you can ask Alexa to turn your lights on at home if you've got connected devices at home. Um, but you can also ask Alexa to send a piece of a file from your dash cam, from your dash cam to your mobile phone. So in the event of an accident, or you know, let's say you see, you see a really dangerous driver driving along the highway, um, you could say, Alexa, protect that file. So that would just keep that file and make sure it wasn't deleted. And then you can say, Alexa, send that file to my mobile phone. And then it would be there. As soon as you stopped, that file will be on your phone, ready for you to send to the police or uh, show to your friends uh, whatever you want to do with it. So allowing you to do things um, on the move, but also safely is very important for us. Um, when we started this business, you know, safety is the number one priority. That's why we concentrate on number one is the video quality. Uh, making sure you can capture a number plate is the most important thing for a dash cam. And that's always first for us. But then that safety theme runs all the way through. I have to ask you about security because anytime we talk about any of the voice assistants, anytime we talk about connecting anything to the internet, especially anything that has a camera, we have to ask about security. Um, yeah. This means that, it, especially if I'm, I, it's it's one thing to have something going out the front of my car, but if I'm looking at the cabin view or cockpit view or whatever, um, that has the potential to be showing me, my passengers, potentially hearing. If I don't, do you do you capture audio? Yeah, we capture audio as well. Um, okay. But for us, it's very important that everything that we, or the camera does, um, is uh, is a push. By the customer 
So if somebody wants to send something somewhere or wants to put something online, it's their decision. Absolutely nothing is, so from a video perspective, is, is sent up to a cloud or anything like that without anybody's knowledge. Um, and that's very clear for us. We've been in the industry for quite a long time. We understand privacy issues, probably this, you know, very similar over here as they are uh, in the States. Um, it's very important that people's data is kept secure um, and we make sure that everything that's sent is what you want sent. I decide to send footage to you, know, you or my friends or whoever. Uh, there's nothing sent up anywhere um, without me knowing that I'm doing it. Hmm. Um, you said you can send footage to your to your phone. Do you have an app that connects to uh, your dash cams or yeah. is the, the raw uh, The app is written in house, um, predominantly uh, because it's quite a specialist app. Um, but it allows us to also do some some extra nice things. Um, so as well as Alexa. Um, we also have a new system called Emergency SOS. Um, many of your viewers may have seen um, systems integrated into cars where if you have an accident, you can push a button um, or the emergency services will be called for you. Um, that's never been done um, in a dash cam or um, of any aftermarket device. So we've worked with. Um, uh, a number of teams to enable us to have an emergency SOS system inbuilt into our dash cam. So essentially, if you have a crash um, and for, for perhaps you were knocked out, nobody is there to help you, um, the dash cam itself would detect that that crash has happened, send a message via Bluetooth to your phone saying, uh, are you okay? Our app would come up saying, are you okay? It would ring very loudly. Um, assuming that you weren't, um, then there's 24 different protocol that it runs through before anything happens, and it goes through those quite quickly, um, such as has the phone moved? So if somebody comes along to help you, picks up your phone or your phone moves, you know somebody's there to help you or you're okay, so it would stop it. But if, it, if the phone hadn't moved and you hadn't pressed the phone saying, I'm okay, um, then the emergency services are called. But also uh, what we can do and what we've built into our app is there are a number of options to fill in, again, should you wish to, such as blood type, um, next of kin, um, and your medical history. And that data can be sent to the emergency services so they can arrive at the scene. If they'd know where you are from the data, GPS data that was sent out, um, so they'd be able to come to you and rescue you knowing that maybe uh, you need a certain type of blood, you're on a certain type of medication, um, and hopefully save your life. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite good having a, a product that not only can help you in an, in an accident from a perhaps a financial perspective or prove that an accident wasn't your fault, but on the other hand, be able to save you, um, if you if you have an accident where there's nobody else around. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I obviously, this has to be a subscription service of some kind to, to pay for it. Uh, so no. Well, well, yes and no is the answer to that one. Uh, you, you, uh, we're offering it free for the first 12 months. Um, so you, you get to use it for a full 12 months. Um, after that, yes, there is a subscription. Um, the exact pricing is, is yet to be confirmed in the US, but it's significantly less um, than vehicle manufacturer costs uh, probably less than half um, so in the UK we're looking at kind of 29 pounds uh, a year which probably translates to about kind of 39 dollars a year um, or maybe for three years for about kind of 70 80 dollars something like that um, that your comment there leads me to the next thing um, the the next base models are available when in the US when do you plan to launch over here so they're launching the UK in April. Uh, they're launching in the US uh, late April, early May. Great. Okay. Through, I, I assume we'll be able, be able to buy them direct or you will have uh, distributors on your website. Um, yeah. So we're looking at a number of retail partners as well, um, as, uh, as well as online partners. 
This edition of Mac Voices is supported by ExpressVPN, the easy to set up, easy to use VPN service that is number one rated by Tech Radar and has a 30 day money back guarantee. I could stop there, but I won't. If you don't want to hand over your online browsing history to your internet provider, data resellers, or anyone else, you need a VPN. Even in the safety of your home, you are being tracked. That's why you see ads for that one item you looked at on one website one week ago pop up all over every other website you visit. The way around that is by using a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. Don't understand that? No problem. ExpressVPN does, and just by turning it on, you are immediately safer and more secure. They anonymize and secure your browsing by both hiding your public IP address and encrypting your data. And ExpressVPN is affordable, less than $7 per month. Your privacy is worth $7 a month, right? Mine certainly is. But it gets better. If you visit expressvpn.com slash macvoices right now, you can get three months free by signing up for a one-year package. Again, that's expressvpn.com slash macvoices for a total of 15 months when you sign up for a one-year package. Take back your privacy with ExpressVPN. Thanks to ExpressVPN for their support of Mac Voices. Because we did this in, in Vegas, and I thought it was very beneficial. If you could just sort of run the lineup um, of, of the, the feature sets and the, and the cost. We've talked a lot about what you can buy, but which specific mm -hmm. models have which feature sets? Yeah, so uh, starting with, I've got the the entry level and the top of the range here with me um the entry level camera is called the 12t um it's this little one here this has 720p resolution so it's kind of, um a nice simple camera um this one will be uh around 69 dollars um two inch screen on the back comes with the click and go mount. Um, but at this point, it doesn't have any of the Alexa or emergency services features. That's kind of at the, the higher end. Moving up the range, we have a, a 222. Um, it actually looks very similar to this, but we just jump up in resolution. So we're going from 720p to 1080. Um, again, uh, this one doesn't have any connected car features, um, but still sits below the $100 mark at $99. Um, then we get to the 322, um, which is uh, it's a little bit bigger on the back because it has a larger three, uh, sorry, 2.5 inch screen. Um, the 322 um, is the full name for that one is called the 322 GW. Uh, the G stands for GPS. Um, so it's at that point we add in the GPS. So you're able to know exactly where you are on your journey. And if you have an accident, you can prove it happened on a certain street and you can show your trace of your journey on Google Maps. Um, and it also includes the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. By having the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you're able to send footage from your dash cam to your phone. Um, and at uh, that point there, um, you have the emergency service as well. So uh, that's really $129 um, a product at full 1080p with the new mount, with the emergency service system, um, with the ability to send the, um, the video from your dash cam to your mobile phone automatically. Um, we feel that's a, a really good mid-range product. Stepping up, uh, we go to the 422GW. Um, that's this one here. Um, it's got a more, uh, this one's just uh, missing a front panel at the moment because I took that off. Um, but it's, uh, it's got a metal uh, kind of front panel. Um, we go up to 1440p resolution with the 422. Um, and it's at this point uh, Alexa comes in. So Alexa is on the 422 um, and at the 522. Uh, the 522 is very similar. So the 4 and the 5 are quite similar. Um, both 1440. Um, the 522 has got a larger screen in the back again, so it goes from a two and a half on the 422 up to um, a three inch screen on the 522 GW. Uh, those ones price wise um, are kind of 149 
a one nine nine around those price points. And and where does the expandability start with the module compatibility? The module compatibility starts at the three two two GW. So it starts at that mid range. Uh, so the of the ninety nine dollar price point, um, we get um, of the modules that can click in the side. Um, so that covers uh, three of the five products, um, which makes it quite uh, uh, an quite an interesting option. Um, it's not just the very high end products that you can do that with. It's kind of quite a chunk of our range. Absolutely. Brent, I really appreciate it. I, as I told you before, and I've said this uh, a number of times since, your, your product line really intrigues me because of the, the care with, that you've taken with it. Uh, and, and the fact that you offer different resolutions at different price points, uh, that also, I mean, it's, it's easy to say all oh, 720 is good enough. Even 1080 is, is good enough, and you're already, or offering a 1440 um, if you really have have a desire because dash cams can be used for a lot of different things not just protection not just documentation of of driving but also some creative things so the fact that you're giving us that option is is really intriguing yeah and, and the technology behind it as well um is for, for us or for me especially is quite interesting for example being able to do a two camera setup means that we have to have a processor that's capable of running two videos at the same time, um, which means we had to kind of plan the range with that in mind. So even at the 322 level, where you can start adding in of uh, the rear view camera or the, the module, we had to think, well, we need to make sure it's got a processor in there good enough um, to manage uh, a piece of foot film coming from the back as well as the film that's recording at the front. Um, and then out of the back of that, we have to manage that in our software. So the software that we design is specifically designed so you can take a video from the front and the back, you can merge them together, you can see the app, uh, sorry, you can see Google Maps by the side of it to be able to show you where exactly where you are. You've got your speed along the bottom, um, you've got um, other data such as G-forces being shown on the map as well. Um, and all this has been done in-house. And so, yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a great place to work. Um, kind of at the cutting edge of technology, um, working with the Alexa team who um, have, have been really great in allowing access to kind of new parts of Alexa, um, where we're really understanding kind of what we can do with this new voice technology. Um, yeah, it's it's been exciting. It, it definitely has. Um, you know, that, I'm glad you said that though, because you bring up a, a question I don't think we did cover in Vegas. Um, if I if I have the front and rear cameras. Yep. And I'm I'm capturing that footage, or I download that footage, or whatever. How? What am I getting? Am I getting two two separate tracks of full res, or <clears throat> is there, are things being scaled down? Uh, yeah, but you genuinely have to just notch down once. So, for example, if you had uh, the four two two GW, the front camera um, on its own can run at fourteen forty. If you put two cameras in, you'd run them both at ten eighty. Um, so you're still running. Full HD, um, right? You just notch them down one, and then you can uh, run them both. Um, by having that, uh, kind of, kind of by creating that system, it means that you can run the three, four, and five two two on their own at ten eighty, uh, but at sixty frames a second instead of uh, the normal thirty frames a second, um, which is another little uh, of nicety almost um running a camera at 60 frames a second especially when you've got two vehicles of going the other way um means that you're able to double the amount of frames that you capture and therefore increase your chance of capturing all those number plate details that you really need if there's an accident or if there's a an incident um so yeah it, it means that we've kind of um we've really raised our game compared to our our, our old range um, and I think compared to the rest of the market, there's nobody else there doing Alexa, nobody else doing emergency SOS, um, nobody else with the style of mount that we've got um, with the magnets, nobody else with the module system. Um, it just means it's kind of, a, kind of a totally different way of looking at dash cams, which we think actually really works. Um, I hope you do too. <laughs> 
I, it's, I would encourage anyone, if they're interested in a dash cam, do some research on these. Check this out because the 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 feature set is unique and the the expandability, I think, is the thing that really is the hallmark for me. Um, that and the quality of, of what you're trying to do, but just the idea that if I buy something, I'm not sure about it. Okay, then you know I can buy the module, I can expand it, I can make some changes without necessarily having to buy a whole new model. And even yeah. if I have to buy a whole new model, you know, I've got a really great dash cam to hand to somebody. So, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, the website where folks can go to do their research and learn more. Um, so right now, uh, you can go to nextbase.com. Uh, at the moment, we don't have any of our two series um, details up yet. Um, it's all under wraps officially uh, until April the 7th. Um, but uh, feel free to have a look at our current range. Um, and also, you can sign up for the latest details, and we can send you out some information on the, the Series 2 products as soon as they're launched. And it's not too often I say this, folks, but it might be something that you do want to sign up for. I know we all get too much email, but I was really excited about these dash cams, and I'm looking forward to learning more once they hit the hit the market. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Brent, thank you, thank you so much for the time, both in Las Vegas and here. Um, sorry we had to do it twice, but I'm glad we got to do it a second time. No problem at all. It's a, a pleasure. Thanks, Chuck. Talk to you soon. You too. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We will be back with more soon. But again, I would encourage you to check these out. Sign up and make sure that if you're in the market for a dash cam, you give these a good hard look. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.